So Bob began at, well, the beginning. With, what the hell? Bell ringers. Bell ringers. Warm ups. Whatever you call your introductory activity. A blog is a great way to get the kids started in your class. Now, you may be asking yourself, why a blog? My kids have what some would call the original computer, right? Pencil, paper, what more do they need? Works every time. And I see your point, but there are some advantages to using a blog for your warm-ups. For instance, with a blog, there are no piles of journals in the corner of your room that need to be lugged home at night to be graded. No students who forgot their binder at home or in their lockers. And no journal entries on loose leaf paper lost in a sea of thinly sliced trees. That's right. Every word is saved to your site. Every entry is tagged with the student's name and held for your approval. Now, beyond just the convenience and efficiency of using a blog for warm-ups, the truth is, is that with a blog, you've got more options. A blog gives you a place to embed photos or video. You can place a hyperlink or a web link in the the post of a blog and have the kids go out and do a survey or explore a website and come back and reflect on it. And of course there's always space for your traditional prompt that you can give to your kids. But imagine writing this up on your chalkboard or your whiteboard. It gives you a chance to put a little more information up there. Now what's great is that these, um, these warm-up activities provide immediate focus for the students. Once they're used to the routine, they come in, they know exactly what they need to do, and they are primed for the lesson. Now, they may be primed for the lesson through uh, you know, deep reflection over a theme for the day. Or you may want them to be doing some reviewing over a concept from the previous class. Okay? Now, I have to be honest with you. I am the poster child for blogs. I have a blog for each one of my classes. And those class blogs give me the wiggle room to take care of attendance and administrative items while my students are being primed for the day. Now, I want to share some examples of, of ways that I have used a blog for warm-ups. And the first one that, that comes to mind is Home Alone. Now, my students, they read The Outsiders. And uh, at the beginning of the book, I really wanted my students to realize the pressure and responsibility that Dally, Soda Pop, and Pony Boy, three of the main characters, um, the, the, the pressure and stuff that they were under without their parents in the house. They had passed away. So I asked my students to consider some of the implications of not having parents around the house. And I knew that a majority of these students would have seen the movie Home Alone before. And they had this picture in their mind of, of the fun and madcap adventures that could go on when nobody is around. But I wanted them to move from from that picture of being home alone to you know the reality of it. And so I put up a series of questions that got them thinking about what they would do if they were home alone. Questions about who would who would take care of the responsibilities around the house? How would they earn income? What would be the rules for your household? And what would be the consequences if if your siblings or your or you broke the rules? And the result was some reflection that turned into an amazing, amazing class discussion about what it meant to be on your own in your teen years. And my, in the end, hopefully some of those students moved from this picture of being home alone to a more realistic view of what it meant to be without parents around. Another way that I have used the blog is in a more traditional sort of way. Um, I sign a homework. So in this case, it was to create a prepositional phrase poem. And so the students came in that day after creating the poem, and they placed, they typed up the poems or copied and pasted the poems into the comment section of a post, 
and I was at the back of the room approving those poems as they were submitting them so that the students could turn around and read each other's work and give feedback on, on the poems. Another way that I use the blog Another way that I use the blog is by embedding video. And I teach um, you know, lots of literature, and sometimes I want the kids to get a feel for um, the conflicts in the story, and I want them to, um, to distill that conflict down to a very simple sort of um, explanation. And so what I'm about to show you is a website that allows you to create um, little clips with subtitles on them and I had the students try to encapsulize the conflict or, or, or a conflict in a story by um, by using this this website So I introduced this this mini lesson or mini activity by by playing them this video, and then they went to the site and they had to pick out a conflict from the story, and using the three opportunities to create subtitles, they had to encapsulate that conflict through the video. They also got to choose from a variety of clips, which was a lot of fun. And so I could turn around and post those clips on the, the site, on the blog, and the kids could look at each other's, each other's posts, and they absolutely loved it. 